Welcome. Today we are at the Clinical Research Unit at Groningen. My name is Petra Schuilega, Director of Clinical Research Services at ICON, and I'm responsible for the overall management of this Clinical Research Unit. This Clinical Research Unit concerns a unique collaboration between ICON and the University Medical Center Groningen, the UMCT, and the facilitating partner Triade, combining the knowledge and the expertise of an academic hospital and a global leading clinical research organization acts as a catalyst for the rapid, innovative and high quality uh, development of medicines. And that strongly contributes to uh, ICON's mission to improve patients' lives by accelerating the development of uh, drugs and devices by innovative solutions. This clinical research unit concerns a purpose-built uh, building uh, for the conduct of uh, uh, clinical research studies in patients, mild to severe patients, and healthy volunteers uh, studies uh, that uh, require invasive assessments. The clinical research studies will be uh, conducted by our own staff according to our own processes. Medication will be shipped from our pharmacy in uh, our early uh, phase uh, unit to this uh, clinical research unit and here it will be stored in our uh, medication storage room, uh, of course temperature controlled. In this unit we have 13 beds divided over four bedrooms. We have two um, research physician rooms, we have a recreation room for our patients and we have a state-of-the-art treatment room uh, special for uh, invasive procedures. There's a thin layer of lead in the walls of the treatment room, making it uh, suitable for working with X-ray equipment. In this unit we also have sample processing room uh, for the processing and the storage of the samples, study samples. Uh, study samples can be stored at minus 80, minus 20 and at 4 degrees. The fridges and the uh, uh, freezers are temperature controlled. And in case of a power failure, then the equipment is uh, connected to a uh, uh, backup generator. For the analysis of the study samples, all samples will be shipped to our clinical safety lab in our clinic nearby. The location of the clinical research unit at the campus of the academic hospital and our strong collaboration with the specialist of the hospital makes it possible to uh, conduct clinical research in patients of all uh, various uh, uh, diseases and uh, doing uh, invasive uh, assessments. I'm Elaine Brouwer, I'm medical director at ICON. I am a cardiologist and I'm in charge of the safety of the subjects. During research we have several safety procedures in place. Um, of course there is observation of the subjects here. We have telemetry and also uh, the, the trained staff is available here looking for the subjects. At the clinical research unit we have uh, a full integrated operating theater, all equipped with oxygen and also um, equipped as an intensive care room. Uh, there's lead in the wall so that we can make full advantage of the CR. Furthermore, we can make cardiac echography uh, in, in the unit. Uh, when comparing to a clinical department, we are fully focused on clinical research. So in a hospital, you always have to wait on patients because patients first, and that's normal. But here we're fully focused on research only. We are located on the grounds of University Hospital. We are in very close contact with the colleagues and we work together uh, very intensively. My name is Paula Kopchinofeusius and I am a senior manager for client engagement at ICON. So the UMCG has over 30 research uh, departments which has a great potential for us to conduct clinical trials in patients with uh, moderate to severe uh, populations and also to perform invasive assessments. Uh, one of our main goals here is to establish a strong collaboration with medical specialists which will enable us to conduct clinical trials in these populations and that will benefit the society later in the future. So far, we were able to develop a collaboration with several groups such as Cardiology, Neurology, Cognitive Neuroscience Center, Dermatology and the Medical Imaging Center. So the Medical Imaging Center is the fusion between the Nuclear Medicine Department and Radiology. So they offer the whole infrastructure and support for state-of-the-art research in the field of medical imaging. They have a broad expertise in multimodality imaging, uh, such as positron emission tomography, computed tomography, and also magnetic uh, resonance scanning. 
So the nuclear medicine department has a great potential for uh, research and development. This is because they have their own cyclotron in-house uh, research and development laboratory and GMP compliant facilities. So that allows them to synthesize tracers that are labeled with positron emitters, uh, radioisotopes such as carbon-11, uh, fluor-18, uh, oxygen-15 and so forth that can be used both in patient care and also clinical research. Um, that also allows for the development, implementation and validation of new uh, tracers that can later be evaluated through positron emission tomography and advanced kinetic modeling. So having the, the medical imaging center and the clinical research unit uh, built in the same uh, hospital building is very important because our patients can undergo imaging uh, procedures while they are in-house or during their ambulatory visits. So this strategic collaboration has already enabled us to finalize a phase one study for patients with a drug uh, for uh, Parkinson's disease and which was evaluated through positron emission tomography and functional magnetic resonance. If we are doing clinical research with the specialist of the academic hospital, the, the specialist will be part of our study team, so we will in fact do it together.